Right, quick update on the high boy. Got my wheels and tires. I said I was going to go with the 35, 10, 50, 17s, but uh, they were kind of hard to find, and I just uh, decided not to go with them because I don't think they were load range ease for one. I didn't, couldn't find out anything about them. I had to order them online. I didn't want to risk it. So I went with 255, 80, 17s, and the Indy. US Mag Indies, which I think look awesome on this tire or on this truck. And I think they're they look pretty good on there. Um I actually got them on a Black Friday deal and a bunch of their shit went down, blah blah blah, whatever. But I got them, that's what's important. Got the hood on and the new emblems. All these, the emblems are usually in pretty good shape, but the reflector's always cracked and busted, so. Always end up buying new ones, it seems like. Got a, the winch bolted up, wired in, other than the little cables that run the clutch and shit. I gotta get them attached. And a new cable on the winch itself. Um, I got these all polished up, I just haven't put them on yet. I'll show you why in a minute, I guess. And interior's pretty much buttoned up. I built this shelf back here because I screwed up my amp. I was gonna run two 12 inch subs back here, but I screwed up my brand new amp. So I put my old shitty Kenwood in and I didn't dare run two subs with it. So I'll just use what I got. And I'm kind of glad I did because it sounds good enough with just one sub to, for me. And then I got this extra storage space here. Little leather cover. Put shit in there too. Got the these side speakers. I need to go through and vacuum this and clean that speaker up. But it's put together. That's what's important. Gun rack on it. Hidden behind the seat. And... show you this guy get out of the way I still need to notch this out a little better come on you damn thing I'm trying to do this one-handed the struggle is real I think them turned out pretty good those will sit in there. I'm probably going to Velcro them down or something. Because they're kind of a loose fit. But. I don't want them to fall out when I flip the seat up. But I want to be able to take them out to clean them. It th turned out pretty good. This is actually. This is more. Was more curved than that right here. It would dip down a lot more in the front. So you'd have seen a big old gap right there. So I built the whole edge up with plastic repair all the way around. And sand it down and just rattle canned it. You can see scratches in it, but no biggie. I should have sanded it out better, but I don't care too much about that because I'll probably scratch it later with my arm or something. So it turned out alright. And I'll show you the reason why I don't have the pieces on the grill. Oh, damn, the thing's heavy. Anyways, we got the hood put on. First, had it lining up really good. Just perfect. I mean, it looked pretty damn good. And uh, I drove it home because I didn't have the latch. I just ran a tie down. I had to drive it down to the other shop. So I just threw a ratchet strap around it, drove it home. Freaking got home, got the latch. Rattle canned it up, painted, put it on, adjusted it where I thought it would be up as high as possible. It was actually down low as possible. Shut it. And it was everything was fine, it cleared okay. But I went to open it. This corner caught the fender. You might not be able to see it very good. Oh right there. And freaking scratch the shit out of it. I dabbed a little base coat in it to try to hide it. 
but it looks just, it's shit. It's going to peel out and look like shit. Happened to both sides. So I'm just going to take and hit this with 800 grit, take the clear down, take the shine out of it, respray it on both sides. The other fender needs it too. So that's why I left the, this off so I can just mask around it. Just mask the white off. Pretty much redo my line there. Mask the whole truck just for this little shit, but no extreme big deal. It didn't really dent it or nothing. Just enough to piss you off because you're this close to getting it done. But yeah, that's about where I'm at right now. Um, I guess I can show you the subwoofer. Another gun rack. Just a Rockford Fosgate P3 shallow. And a capacitor on it. And the other 4x10. But you can't see it because I don't have the light on. Messy kind of wiring. Some green paint left on it. But. No big deal. It's behind the seat. I can cover it up if nothing else. I'd, I'd let you listen to the system. But it would, probably ain't going to go so good. Because. It'll just be on my shitty phone, so. I don't really care for doing that. I've seen lots of people do it. You can still never quite get the same sound through your speaker system on your computer and everything else, so. That's why I don't worry about that dumb shit. And I'm not real big into the whole giant audio thing. This is just a simple, basic setup, pretty much, so. I like it enough for me. Sounds clear to me and good. Oh, one more other thing. That baby tinted. It's really finger painting because you got to put it back in. Got the headliner put in. We painted it green to match the truck. And this trim was like rusty as shit, so we blacked it out. Just uh, straight black PPG paint. It looks freaking sweet, I think. We actually edge primed it and then blacked it, but. It turned out good, I think. And this switch panel is all put back in now. And the KSB, this is for the KSB solenoid. It works. And it's great with me. I like it. I still need to cover up that overspray over there. I mean, it's just on the inside. I'll just rattle can over it. I don't give a shit. Kind of blend it in. Need that door trim over there still. I need to find more clips. And I think that's about it on it. Done lots of work, but it doesn't look like much. <laughs> so, anyways, I guess we will call that it on this update. On the next one, I hope it's pretty much just finished. Maybe the next one I'll just run around it, show everything I did to some extent. Maybe I'll get my GoPro out and take it on a test drive for you guys. I do have a test drive video of it when it was halfway put together, but... That, I probably won't post it. So, guess the next update then.